Music has a, 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 a magical thing in my opinion. And it's when you hear your favorite song or you hear something that means something to you, that's the song my husband asked me to marry him to, or that was the first kiss, or that's when we fell in love. Music triggers emotion. That's what my job is in this, is directly communicate something that may not be said, but we need to feel. We were lucky enough to record a full or live orchestra playing this music, so the score we have is pretty phenomenal. Our palette has a lot of hues in it, and I think that also has to do with being a musician, just having dynamic range, having tempo, all that, but that's all in the play too, and it goes back to Mark having written a fabulous script. We see um, a piece of music as a complete finished sphere, but what if we took off some of those layers or some of those facets disappeared on that diamond? And you listen, and I took the exact same chords, God rest you, and just played the chords slower and more somberly. And we added some oohs and ahs over the top of, of, of the cast singing. And suddenly you have this bizarre piece that is somehow sad. Dickens didn't write a Christmas Carol, the play. He wrote a little novelette, and that's all there is. So it's like, okay, this is actually a story that's really important, and everybody knows the story, but how are we going to tell it? It's, it's so important to me that we get that message, that you treat your barista great at Starbucks, that the person at the checkout line is your sister, and the guy working in your car is your brother. You know, to, to me, without that, and that's exactly what Christmas Carol says. Christmas.